Hey everyone, Coach Jared with your FITSA, or FIT service announcement. And obviously we're in some unique conditions, um, you know, because it's, it's a safer ho at home thing. So I figured we'd do some things that one, get you outside, um, and two, talk about things that are coming up. So golf course is open April 24th, so we're gonna talk about golf today, all right? Some things you need for golf. One, inner hamstrings, so inside hamstrings. How do we do that? Well, we can do what's called a dimmel deadlift. So I've got a bag of sand here, potting soil works as well. You grab it so that a lot of the weight is in the front, okay? And from here, you're going to bend down. As you bend down, you're going to try to bend down without your hips going back. It seems counterintuitive to a deadlift, but there's a reason for that. You're gonna come up with your hips getting back under you. Hips stay in place, don't go back. And then hips come back under you. When you do that, you're gonna feel this massive engagement of your inner hamstrings. Super critical for that turn back and through in the golf swing. Okay, then rotation, so thoracic spine, super key for a full turn in the golf swing. So what we're gonna do here is a half kneeling, reach and rotate. So I'm right here, I'm gonna reach up, but as I reach up, I'm not going to arch my back, okay? We don't wanna lose position, so I'm gonna reach as high as I can. For me, that's not quite overhead, okay? And then I'm going to keep that position and rotate. Feeling my obliques stay engaged and turn back, reach, and rotate without arching my back. Obviously switch and do both sides, okay? And then, and this one might be a little weird and goofy to do on the golf course, but it will work. Huge thing in the golf swing is a transition from one thing turning one way and the other turning this way, and then turning back and through, okay? So one thing that accomplishes that, that we probably a lot of us have done as athletes in the past is the karaoke drill, okay? So we're gonna go in front, and behind, in front, and behind. You speed it up, and you end up looking something like this. You do that, get the arms going, get the feet going, to, to coordinate that transition that's huge in the golf swing. Try those out, and let me know how many strokes you shave off your game.